Welcome to Gamer Ability. I'm your host, Six Penny, and I'm back with another MLB The Show 21 Road to the Show series video. I wanted to show you Ryan Gamer's stats. I mean, look at him in his first two seasons. He batted over 300, and he I don't know how he's not caught up yet. That's why I show this to you. So he's batting over 300, has over 30 home runs, and has still 34 home runs and has still not been called up and if you look at his pitching stats he has an era his worst start was those 13 games in the double a but after that he went to triple a and was 1.37 then 1.68 right now this season and as we take a look at his strikeouts I mean, look, look at these strikeout totals and whip. Look at his win percentage. He was 100% there in double A. But I mean, he needs to be called up. And he did just unlock the silver archetype for pitcher velocity. Uh, it's painted cheese is what it's called. So he's 70 overall now as a pitcher. So this, this video will start with hitting here. So Gamer is DH. They moved me to ninth. Wow, they, I guess they're resting me a little bit. We're definitely doing the power loadout. Maybe they're resting gamer. They don't want him to see as many at-bats because he did just pitch a full game. Uh, so I did pitch a full game, and he did really good. Had 11 strikeouts at, right before we moved into this game here. I'm trying to, I would usually do about two to three episodes for a calendar month until we get to the majors. So, Gamer's still having a great season. Batting over First 313. I went right over, right field. after that. I thought it was a low right on the zone. That's Vincent got me chasing. And makes the catch to end the Not inning. a good way to start. Not a good way to start. Let's see. Next to hit, so, one for six foul. on the series. A double and an RBI. Points. So, that's what happened in the last game when I was pitching. Here we go. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Don't want that one. Slider laid off for a Look ball. at the last six games. 389 average, 7 for 18. That's pretty incredible. Don't want that one. Okay, he, Scott Moss is wild right now. Two. Give me that change up hey, right down here. This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with no, okay. Slash. Coach it's gave me the green light, though. Coach gave me the green light. So if it's anything looking like a fastball in the zone... Okay, nope. Good eye. So 0 for 1 with the walk. Our team is up 3-0. And our team is still number 1. But I'm hoping we don't finish. You know, I love we've made I love this team. We've I've made a lot of friends here. Made some best friends, but we're ready to go to the majors. And this is was just a temporary stop. Now that I have silver archetypes for both batting and pitching, I don't think it'll be long. At least I hope not. Come on, no, just a routine fly out. So 0 for 2 with the walk. Come on, gamer. Hey, the team won, though. The team won. So let's go back to the clubhouse and move into the next game. So. That walk in the fifth was really the highlight of the game. That's sad though, right? But only two plate appearances. The coach moved us to ninth. We usually bat th number three. So I'm actually surprised they moved us back. But I guess it's I, it's definitely not because of our performance. It's the coach wanting to rest us a little bit. Let's see. So we are playing. Maybe it's not the coach wanting to rest us. Are you kidding me? They're, we're still in ninth. We are leading our team in batting average, and they're putting us in the ninth spot. Wow. That's kind of hurtful. Look at all these friendships. Friendships. So Josh Bennett is actually my best friend and roommate. You all know I always room with the first baseman because so I never cover first, so I have to be 12. extra nice to them, extra kind, to go get them coffee year. when they want it because I never cover first. So here we go. Runner on first. Let's go, gamer. I love that pitch. The sweeping curve. I read the pitch just a little bit off. Finally. Wow. Finally, we have a play in the field. It's really been about 12 games or more. 
Let's live up to the hype. And we did. Yes. See, they need to give us more plays in the field. Another one. See, this is what happens. They never happen, and then there's multiple ones. Should be an easy one. I'm still waiting for that diving one. Okay, that's out of the inning. Into the fourth. Our team's up 2-0 in the pouring rain. Okay, 0 for 1. Still batting over 300, but we're not hitting as good as we were, so we really got to keep this going. MLB probably won't even look at us. Since they haven't called us up batting over 300, maybe I do just need to bat less than 300. Then they'll finally call us up. Or maybe the majors don't even look at stats. I don't know what they look at, but... Okay, let's see here. We're not hitting the ball very well. I'm not being patient. I think that's my problem this game. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing Ooh, good any hit. signs of relief. Good hit. That was actually a really good pitch. Four seam right down in the lower part of the strike zone. Yeah, it's getting sloppy out here. Bottom of the eighth. We're back in the field. Come on, gamer. I mean, these are they're giving us easy plays. But hey, I'd rather that than miss it and lose the game. 5-0. and oh. Another C. This is the fourth play in the field. This is how it usually happens. We never get one, and then they give us a lot. It's like our team is really good at limiting hits to center field. Easy. Gamers had an easy day out in center field. Batting one for three. Let's increase the average. We're up 5-0. This doesn't really matter. It's going to give us a little bit of cushion. But let's swing for the fences. I'm going to do a power swing for a home run. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he dives, but he can't make the play. Ooh, so I'm not going to do a power swing anymore. But That's wow, I wish that would have dropped fair. That would have probably been a triple. I thought it was going to drop low. I honestly picked up on a changeup right away. So I thought it was a changeup. So I thought it would drop a little bit lower, which is why my PCI was lower. But hey, sometimes you just miss it. Sometimes you miss it. Let's move on to the next game. One for four. Not terrible. Not great, though. Center field. I'm interested to see. Are they going to give us... Usually when it happens, we have one game where we play in the field and the next game we don't. So we'll see. We are at center, center field. They moved us back in our normal position. Number three. This is our home. I never bat well in ninth. I just don't have that confidence. But three. This is my home. Go. Go. Wow. I was all over that. It was good timing. PCI was right on the power point. Just gamer stats. He's just not not all the way up there yet. Maybe that's why the majors haven't called him up yet. Easy. Look, more plays in the field. I love to see it. Okay, 0 for 1. Let's get our average up to around 310. Daniel, we have four seam, two seam, slider, curveball, change up. Don't want that one. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his awesome. So Gamer is still in contact with his best friend from double A, the first baseman. They're still in contact. He calls he calls us, you know, once a week, just touch base. He is still actually in double A, has not been caught up yet, but hopefully he'll get caught up soon. Or he may be looking for another organization. We'll see. But, you know, I don't want to tell him, but Josh Bennett, our first baseman now, is just is just really good. So, I mean, we won't tell him I said that, though. It's an easy play for the second baseman there. Okay. Another play in the field. Bottom of the fourth. Up by one. 
Look at that slow field. reaction time, though, for Gamer. For Still made the play. That was some slow reaction. 0 oh for 2. He's only 1 so for 6 in the series. He's going to have to get it going no right now. Don't want that one a little game. low. And start him with a that down and away Give me a change up one right one. low, right here. No, so he's keeping them low. If I was the pitcher, I would go with an up high fastball. Ooh, painted it there. It's okay. That's not a quality spot for me. I'm not going to hit that. That is a quality spot, but good pitch. He's going to go off speed. Yeah, change up. Okay, so he went off speed. He's been all over the place. He only he hasn't been at the upper right. If he can locate it, it's nearly good eye, good plate discipline. I knew it was close. So 0 for 2 with the walk. New pitcher Kyle Nelson. So four seam, two seam, and slider. Way low. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run. What a wind up there. They're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. We've had a lot of games in the rain recently. It's becoming more and more I struggle with it, that up high pitch. Like I should be able to crush it, but... Wow. Wow. I picked up on it right away, PCI-wise. Just... I knew it was going to be close. I had to swing. Base hit. Yes. So our team's down. That was a huge base hit. Can our team do what they need to do? We're about to find out. Oh, they did. Our team came back with me on base, so we scored. Oh, no. Bottom of the ninth. Gamers in the field. Good play. I was getting a little nervous there. That I heard it off the bat that that was a rocket. And our team won. Gamers back in the field, one for three with the walk. Solid game, not his best game, not his best series, but he's still playing good ball. I still think the majors should call him up soon. If you haven't made your predictions yet on when you think Gamer is going to make it to the big leagues, cast your predictions below. I feel like it has to be coming soon. Let's see what we have in the future here. So Gamer has one game left here. And then we'll have a pitching. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Gamer is a DH. That's it. And we go for the power loadout. He goes for as max power as he can. It's been probably about four or five games since Gamer has had a home run. So he's due for one at the plate. So now here is number 12. He's two for seven. And I believe he's so DH this game. Still batting in number three, which is where we want him. So Josh Wolf, four seam, two seam, change up. First pitch coming, here it is. Sends Ooh. that one out of play for strike one. Gave me one right hey, down the middle. Mid so I'm like third on the Cub in the Iowa Cubs in hits. It was good timing and actually good PCI contact. Maybe it was the rain. Maybe Stepping we can blame the rain. So two 12. for eight in the series. In this one. I still think that last one probably should have been a base hit. Josh has come right after me. Two pitches right down the middle, basically. He's set and the pitch. Base hit. To field. Has to be. And a dive, yes. But it in and out of the glove. He's going. So now they'll have two double. Position following Let's the two go. Good base running, good hit. It's a good effort by the center fielder there. So one for two, it's keep increasing that average. I don't like to see it go down. First pitch on its way. This should end the inning as it's second. I, I read the curveball. Timing was pretty good. It's just I didn't go low enough on it. Didn't go low. I do like the games when I don't feel better because I really can focus and hone in on hitting. Close. You gotta be all over that one, Ryan. Not your pitch. So we have Trevor, Steven, four seam, two seam slider, change up. That's it. 
That's a double. Easy double. Maybe triple. No. Don't want to risk it. Let's just take the double. Our team's up 4-0. Yes. We do have a whole lot of confidence. I mean, what a game. Two for four. Two doubles and an RBI. Our team won 4-1. What a end of the series here against Columbus. But thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you got some enjoyment out of it, drop a like before you go and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I create a lot of content for MLB The Show 21, but also other games, a lot of other games as well. So stay tuned to the channel page. If you're new to this Road to the Show series, be sure to check out the full gameplay playlist in the description or the pinned comment down below. There's been some amazing episodes. And if you're new here, you can binge watch all of them. There's plenty of episodes out there for you. I also have gameplay tips and tutorials for this game. So be sure to check the channel page for all things gaming. As always, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.